Fair of it. More car, less cash. It is Kitimi Powered by World Sports Betting. It is Kitimes.co.za. So here we are on the cusp of the African Cup of Nations, which will be played in Ivory Coast. Bafana Bafana are in a group with Mali, Tunisia, and Namibia. So we've played Namibia in the past. Most of the time we win, but we've played them in 2023 in a friendly match and we drew nil nil. So in order to advance from the group, you have to be number one or number two. That's guaranteed that you will go to the last 16. However, you can also be one of the best number threes. I think they take four uh, in order to get to the last 16. So if you win one match, you are almost guaranteed to go to the next round because they will pick four best number threes, if I'm not mistaken. I think that's the format of the competition. Junior Kanye, our analyst. Um, maybe let's start with Bafana Bafana. Um, you look at the squad, you look at the coach. Um, are you confident that the squad will be able to take us to the knockout rounds? Why do you think so? Why do you not think so? <laughs> Um, will you say open it so fast? we can keep on supporting this TV fighting one. We try to fix South African football. Um, it's very difficult for South Africa to qualify. I mean, in South African football, I don't think I think calling a team, a team in Ibuni that is selected. Yes, in front of his eyes, these are the best players, but too many many questions in these players whereby. Some do not even playing regularly in their teams. I need to be honest. Abanya uh, Batali, not even regular. The Moon Mazo Tala one month, best we are We check the standards at TSTV Premiership. Uh, we can't be fooled. We need to be honest. Is the quality enough now? Are uh, we doing things all right? So, my name question is like Melissa is before we say is the quality team and other stuff. We will learn an Aboban. I mean, uh, Tunisia. Mali now in Namibia. Uh, in Namibia, yes, Mashwit, maybe they can but I told it raw. But each and every year these countries uh, buy in the research and they improve. Mm, and they make sure their own players by represent a man nation or outside the country. Maybe it can be Europe, yes. I know in Namibia Europe is yeah, South Africa, but we need to be honest. Uh, if in Rwanda it was very difficult for us, World Cup qualifier, and then in Namibia is ocean. I would just not to in that one. Uh, not to say, Angola. Uh, uh, I need to be honest. You coach it too. The way selecting a corner, there's many questions. I'm a player with that effect. So, suppose I'm a question. Would you really? Because uh, we need everybody, especially with tournament, we to participate. We want to get injuries and stuff. And I live in a cold calang. I'm not too sure who to say calang about. No, but I'm surprised. I'm a name. Let's 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 have a look at um, some of those questionable selections. I think um, it's 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 out there that I think maybe sixty or seventy percent of South Africa can see, especially the ones that follow football. They can see that you can't really strike with a Mahopa. You can't rely on him. There are better players than him. I think that's an obvious one. Um, Munara last played Gusowoto Tabi in November. So he didn't play in December, he didn't play in January, Munara. I thought when I saw that selection, I thought that he will be very surprised. Especially if they never gave him a phone call, he would know it's a squat in dot. If he was watching like uh, all of us watching on SAPC one, one Lenoba Kuluma no no Yuko Prosa and answer squad, I thought that he will be very surprised to see his name there because he hasn't played at Bafana Bafana. He hasn't been playing at Orlando Pirates. So that selection doesn't make sense as well. Um, take me through some of the players that you think or you're questioning. You go to why is that player there and who should have replaced them? <laughs> yeah, uh, I mean, truly speaking, in fact, you go to Yenalo, Chita, Evelyn, Mahopa. I think that's an obvious one. Yeah, we need to be. I'm going to email us check. My philosophy is that I'm going to be a little bit of a little bit of a Combine combination is we are more with taxi fanal on after 45 minutes he changed he plays too many long balls either for game a wing or as a cross ball I think instruction I am going to keep it right back of a right wing for a right wing back of forgetting a right wing back for my crosses or any chance with the usam with the eyes in I think you learn to accommodate to my hope yeah my hope I question mark for me 
uh, it's very difficult especially with the CV premiership to find a uh, SC striker but Mnigu Reina has a chance I mean recently he's just won he, 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 I think it's he can't play label now yeah. uh, and Mangam Cheka since I joined Stellan Poch he consistency he's playing regularly scoring and weight matters mostly when I did in the tournament uh, he's helped them so many many good difficulties and uh, uh, about facing especially as a team in Stellan Poch he's more of a senior player and many chance he's more dynamic and in South Africa we don't have to play with a static player uh, I need to, uh, I don't know, that's why I need to coach a fan, you're a target man. But, you know, I'm going to say, I'm going to say, I'm going to say, I'm going to say, I think for me, I'm going to say, chance, I'm going to say, yes, I'm going to say, and I'm surprised, really. I'm going to check, if you like first touch, Ubaganja and Gules are squads of corn, especially as a striker. If first touch, you can't even run quick. I mean, the intensity. I mean, we are up against standards. I don't think he will be able to cope. I'm afraid to ask with EP in terms of finding strong points. I can't remember what he was about last year. Because now we are ready to knock him out. He sometimes as if he came in again, he can't even chase. He's too slow. He's lazy. Step in. The question we need to solve is how can the tournament is structured, continent. So it's very difficult for you. So, coach, I don't know who you spoke to. We need to find a lapa. And ask, because if, if it was about assessment, I don't think it's a good decision. Can you say, yes, now Reynas, between them, I'm fit to fuck. I mean, really, but fuck it, but it's a one of them. Eh, but it's a lot of people who are going to be a lot of Yeah. Yeah. Um, let's look at the coach it's, it's itself. So I've been having these conversations a lot, speaking on radio, getting invites to so have this discussion here, Bafana Bafana. And I, I keep on reminding people about Uguti, you can't hope for a coach to be good. Uh, we are praised that because he is good, or you criticize him because he is not good. Is there anything you notice about Hugo Bros? Take away the fact that in 2017 he won it with the Cameroon and then they didn't qualify in future and all of that stuff. It wasn't a continuous thing where he showed the good, you know, he's a very clever coach. That just happened before that. I don't know what he did. And after that, I don't know what he did. He did nothing. Do you look at that guy? In the matches that we've watched, we've watched them against Rwanda, against Benin. We've watched him for the past two, three years since he's been here. Is there anything that gives you a sign, Uguti? This is a very smart coach. During a game, he can change it. He can see things tactically. He's making his players play in a way that's dangerous, in a way that's promising, in a way that's very attacking. And we can win games that we are underdogs in. Do you have hope with that coach? His style of coaching in Gondwayake is, is a street smart. Can he be able to lead Bafana Bafana? Some people are wishful thinking what he can win, but obviously that's not going to happen. But do you think he can give us positive results? Gule Afkon. I think first, before we go in now, I think we will retire in stage. Yeah. Uh, we, we did a very big mistake by yeah. bringing him. Five-year contract. Yes, five years contract. We will retire in stage. And then you've got Pete Somsman that knows the South African. He has proved himself our own. Uh, black guy whereby win the Champions League with Mamle Sundowns. He was yeah. won league champion league DSTV Premiership with many, many times. He's won trophies and also get the experience of coaching outside the country. He, he won league with al -Akhli. Why giving this guy investor Gulam Chitalo five years ago retirement stage? Pizzo, Usase Gushepe Grand, why didn't you solely pride and bring him? Omnige, you own only five years there. Akete, a technical they team. Actually, now, now that I'm thinking about it, they would never, with yeah, a black coach, so they would never do that. Like, and that's the wrong yeah. thing, but even now, even yeah. he contract a grand for when a labor niggas at the time. So, so, they would never do I that. think they did a, a big mistake by giving five years a good retirement stage. Yeah. Another stuff, watching the guy, who uh, figure South Africa, he criticized Santos players, he never called them. Uh, sometimes players keep on winning, winning everything and keep on proving themselves. Google champion, African continent, football, uh, in all departments. And then we have a choice because of the pressure in media. 
Uh, he had to solo a pride, uh, his pride, and he brought those players. Uh, the way I'm a corner. He keep on playing the same players that they keep nothing. I mean, he's, he loves Umodi. No man have a coach Umodi and Zalanjan with Team Shitiake. If he calls his national team, good player that has programmed. That's why. I mean, Nico Mobi, the one who's playing at Kukun. He didn't think he's showing it. I don't think the assessment properly is. He's listening to media too much. And I'm not too sure what he's going to say to what. I'm not sure what he's going to say. I'm not sure what he's going to say. I'm not sure what he's going to national team. Uh, it's a tournament that is very dynamic tournament. It's competitive. Tactically, you will be outclassed. I mean, really, good number question. I'm not even doing the good. I'm not team week, especially good tournament. So, most of these are players that they are not ready. I'm coming out there. I'm a player that they're rusty. A team level, top level, I was like, it's shocking. And I call it. I'm sorry. So, I mean, I'm going to get lose the respect for Google, especially with coach. Um, yeah, now I'm finding I'm going to get some high. We need us prove I'm fun. And look at his age. You give him that platform. Guna bama hopa. He is good technical. He's got speed. Una we understand that una first touch. He can take on players. Not that one of the skillful players, but you was uklala uklala off the pole. He's more he's South African typical. Maufun uklala ngomunto o mobile la papambil. Why you mega? So I don't think assessment ya ke uyenza bega yenza profile all these years. It team ya ke yinga balance. He keep on surprising us. Obi zama player. Sometimes that they are not even performing regularly. Most of them are overseas. Um, that is regularly. That it can keep it, it give us nothing. You go into things and putting him on the piece. So, I'm bugging him in Angulevo. Just to be honest with you, he has good pizza. They can't give him. But me, I would never do that. Yeah, me, na. Yo, I think if if pizza, I'm making five year contract with any other black coach, any black human being. If five years, I think the world would end. Like those are black people who are heading Usafa. But for them to give a black coach respect, it is ever like the world would end, but they would never do that. But he, and then now we're going back. What so, I mean, if you try, okay, he's done away, he's been here. I haven't seen improvement, especially to we need to be honest, even his philosophy, his philosophy, essentially improvement in terms of Nyaboni philosophy is playing too many long poles. Now, recently, when you watch sometimes, you want to apply the same, but it doesn't have those type of players. Uh, sometimes, I'm a ning. I'm a player. Sometimes I go. Sometimes you. Sometimes the language they lie because of those type of players. And the coach believe whether we are or two minutes game Italy they still a look arrogant in philosophy. Him umuntu believe like my long ball. So I mean I don't see any future with the coach. I need to do some kule. I I I'm only young man. You go to Jabam sign five years. He need to honor that five years there. But I don't see any future with him. Alright. Um. Let's look at the Afcon then. Um. I'm gonna ask you about Bafana Bafana. But I'm also going to ask you, who do you think is going to win the AFCON? Um, it's very difficult to look past Abu Morocco, Abu Senegal. Uh, Ivory Coast is at home as well. Maybe Bangavoga, they won it in 2015. Um, that's the way that I see it. And Algeria was in the final recently. So Algeria, Ivory Coast, Senegal, for me, Morocco, those countries. I think it's difficult to look beyond them. Um, Bafana Bafana, how far can they go? Do you think they're going to play three matches and come back home? Um, if they beat Namibia, they could stay there for an additional last 16 game. Um, I think, my opinion with Bafana Bafana, maybe last 16. Um, because I do think that we might just beat Namibia. I don't know how. Because last time, by the Orlando Stadium, in 2023, it was 0-0. And we were like, why would you draw with Namibia 0-0? And Wednesday, the last game, yeah, before Bavai, by the Afcon, but then it to behind closed doors, it was 0-0. So I don't know what I have. I have this hope you with you. Maybe we could beat Namibia because we are higher than them, Guma rankings, and you know they hope to play in South Africa. It's their dream all the time. Above and beyond that, I don't know what's gonna happen. If we get a draw there and still lose with Tunisia and Gumali, then we're out. But if we beat uh, Namibia, then we'll be one of those four number threes. Where do you think Bafana Bafana will go, and who do you think is gonna win the Afcon? Uh, is a draw in Namibia. They're gonna lose these two games. <laughs> Are we Oh, they already drew in 2023, so. Yeah, I it it won't be a yeah, shame. Yeah, man. They'll suit the Lolo, they will sell suit to be Yeah, they by winning him both. Not zero zero because of Valoma Kate. 
they're gonna draw with Namiba. Zero, uh, and then they're gonna lose to Tunisia and lose to uh, Imali. Um, and they're gonna come back. And he, of course, is always Senegal. Uh, one of the strongest side. They don't have players. Uh, about competing, especially with their own countries. Yes, Bangaba Kona one or two. Look at their players. They compete in top class league, good yeah. and they playing regularly. Upegi uh, and it's like a team that is playing a league week in and week out. Good is good budget. So I scored up so strong. They've got individual players in Jenga Busado Mine. Many, many top class players individually and as a team, country as a team, uh, uh, young. So, Bazo, you win a Afcon. There you go. That's Julia Kanye's prediction. Uh, Senegal will win and Bafana Bafana will only play three matches and come back home. My prediction I think South Africa could maybe play one more game, last 16, if we beat, only if we beat Namibia. I don't know how. But that's the one team we should be able to beat uh, in the tournament. And I think you can't look past Morocco. Maybe this could be their turn. But North Africans, they tend not to perform a West Africa. My Afcon is a West Africa. So given that the Afcon is played in um, Ivory Coast, you could see Egypt or Morocco going to the final. Um, or Algeria, one of those. Egypt, Algeria, Morocco will go to the final. And Amatemba will lie on the West Africans. Ivory Coast, the home team, or is Senegal, like Trina was saying. Nigeria, I think there's so many things that needs to be done there. Uh, they're still working out their team. They have star players, star, star yeah. players, but they can't combine. They drew against Lesotho now, but World Cup qualifier, and then they drew against Zimbabwe. The first two World Cup qualifiers, nil-nil uh, against Lesotho, one-one against Zimbabwe. So there's so many things that they need to first fix in order for them to even win a tournament like this. But if they do... I wouldn't be surprised because of the star players, but they haven't combined as yet. There you are then. We hope uh, you will enjoy it. We'll come back on Tuesday with Bafana Bafana against Mali at 10 p.m. It is good TV, it is good times. We're also spitting. Thank you very much for watching us.